We begin with the latest in the murder case of missing mother Jennifer Dulos, and we start with the story that we were first to bring you on the Channel 3 app. Hi everyone, I'm Kara Sundlin. Almost 500 pages of search warrants were released by Connecticut court officials today. Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz has been pouring through these court documents to give a better idea of the evidence that police are bringing against Fotis Dulos. Carolina is live from Stanford Superior Court with what we have learned so far. Carolina. Well, just to reiterate, there are three people charged in connection to Jennifer Dulos's murder. They are her estranged husband, Fotis Dulos, also his former girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, and then his civil lawyer, Kent Mawinney. In the 48 search warrants that we obtained today, the only suspects mentioned are Fotis Dulos and Michelle Traconis. In these documents, investigators detail what they were searching for. It also details how they gathered evidence, what they gathered evidence on, and how they managed to lay out these charges. Two separate search warrants looked at obtaining geolocation for the Sirius XM apps on two vehicles linked to Fotis and Jennifer. Investigators wanted to corroborate evidence about the car's whereabouts, but the company said they didn't have geolocation on either one. Investigators also searched another vehicle involved in this case, a Toyota Tacoma. They looked at they were looking for evidence related to fingerprints, footprints, blunt force instruments, tools to get access to locked premises and police lastly also searched for Fotis Dulos's Farmington home. They looked inside of it and here's what they seized. Laptops and cell phones, three photocopies of handwritten timelines with one entry noting quote Jennifer and then also an open box of black outdoor plastic bags. This is an important detail because someone resembling Dulos was captured on surveillance footage throwing bloody trash bags in Hartford and that blood inside those bags tested positive for Jennifer's DNA. So these are just a few of the items that are detailed in these documents. Again, it's more it's nearly 500 pages, 469. So our colleagues are looking through these pages right now and they're going to have more coming up at 430 this evening. So be sure to tune in there and we'll give you more details about what these documents say and also offer up some context as to what it means. For now reporting in Stamford, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Carolina. Yes, certainly a lot to get through, almost 500 pages there. We have more on this case on the Channel 3 app. We will have all of the newly released search warrants for you to read yourself, along with the previously released arrest warrants for Fotis Dulos, Michelle Traconis, and Kent Mawinney. We also have a timeline of the events from the day that Jennifer disappeared until today.